You don't know Batman Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. I hope you all are well. So in today's video, I'm going to be um, unboxing this mannequin right here. And I actually bought another one of this mannequin because I've been getting questions on where I bought my mannequin from. So I bought another one and I decided to do an unboxing video to show you guys what it looks like and also where I got it from. So let's jump right into this video. You don't know. Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's body baby. Oh. Ah, he's body baby. Oh. oh. The lashes came destroyed, but that is not a problem. You can always um, fix this one. So I'm really happy that the skin, or should I say the mannequin did not injure or press. So I'm happy about that. So for these lashes, honestly, I'll see what I can do about it. But this is really, oh, I was able to fix the lashes. After all, I was going to add extra lashes to this one that it came with, because that's what I did here with this one. Because with this one, I added two more lashes together with the one that it came with. So, yeah, this is what the mannequin looks like. I mean, this is what, this one was the same as this. So I just did few makeup to change the look a little bit. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys as well, how I did the makeup on this very one. So this is what it looks like. And this mannequin, I got it on AliExpress because my very first mannequin, let me show you guys my very first one. No, I'll show you guys later at the end of this video. The first one that I got was from Alibaba, but that one, it was more expensive. So this one is a cheaper one that you can get on AliExpress. What matters is how you touch it up to make it look like, you know, how you want it to look. And yeah, these first two are cheaper than the first one that I got. The first one I got that I got, I'm going to show you guys at the end of this video but for the meantime let's just jump right into beautifying this mannequin right here let me show you the, the little gift that came with this oh a black earring okay so they sent in a pair of earring let me just put it on already This is the earring that came with the first one. You can see it's really beautiful. And this black one came with this second one. So, as you can see, it already comes with a base for the eyeshadow. So, I'm not going to be adding any base at all. So I'm going to use this purple glitter for the eyes. I'm going to use a lace glue to help the glitter to stick to this mannequin. Another reason why I decided not to do makeup on the skin of this mannequin is because um, whenever something touches the skin, it leaves a scratch on the mannequin because you can understand that this is not a skin. It's, the body is actually made of plastic, so it's normal if the makeup um, doesn't last on the skin so whenever something touches it it leaves a scratch at one point it just became so irritating and um, frustrating because when I take a product picture with the mannequin I will have to edit it else the skin will not look um, flawless so I have to edit it to make it look um, good and you can tell from the video when I make a video and when I take a picture, that is not the same thing. For the video, the, the mannequin will just be looking like, looking crazy. 
and on the pictures it looks better because I have to edit the pictures. So one morning I decided, you know what, I'm just going to wash off the makeup. So I took it to the bathroom and I washed off the makeup. So I'm going to apply these lashes. I might actually double the lashes to give it a lot of volume, but I'm going to try one first. And if it's not enough, then I'll add another one. So for the lashes, I'm also using the same um, lace glue because it holds the lashes way better than using a regular lash glue. So I'm just going to wait for that to get sticky before I apply it. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad man thing, yeah, yeah. Bad girl make you want to chase, nah, nah. That thing where I go for you late, nah, nah. The way you back it up, the way you bust in the place, nah, nah, nah. So guys, after applying the lashes and making sure that everything is okay, I'm going to use a very light concealer um, on her skin. I mean under the eyes, not her entire skin, like just under the eyes. I'll use a very small brush. I find this to work better than using a beauty blender. I don't know, this one just works better for me when doing their makeup. I remember, like I said, I'll be doing only under the eyes, but just go ahead and do whatever you like with your mannequin. But trust me, if you apply makeup all over the skin, you will have to be retouching it all the time. And that time is what I don't have. So as you can see, the face is changing. Not really changing, but there's a bit of difference compared to how it looked when it first came, if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to set it using this uh, translucent powder. So another thing that you can do is to apply some lashes under the eyes. It just changes everything, like it adds to the beauty of it. So I'm using these lashes right here. I'm going to cut it into small sections and apply that under the eyes. After applying the glue to the lashes, I waited for it to get tacky a little bit. So right now I'm going to start placing it on the waterline. <laughs> extra glow because remember we are not going to be applying foundation on her skin. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all that more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Your friends, they tell you, say I beat nobody. Been searching all around, but I found nobody. Nobody, nobody. Call on me, call on me. I go give you all of me, all of me. Uh -huh. So guys, I'm going to use that same brush that I use in applying the concealer under her eyes. I'm going to use what's left on the brush to touch up her lips a little bit because I don't like um, how it's looking. It's too shiny. I just feel like the lips is too shiny. I don't know how to explain this part, but just see what I'm doing. Well, this is not the perfect type of makeup that you can do on your mannequin, but it's also not bad. I mean, there's a big difference compared to when I first unboxed this mannequin. I'll leave every details of this mannequin. Like I said before, I got this on AliExpress. I'm going to leave the seller's link in my description box below in case you guys are interested. So 
you guys can check it out because I get asked a lot where I got my mannequin from. So this is the cheapest that I could find on AliExpress. The rest of them, like, they are super expensive. So you can decide to dress her up. Um, but two of my mannequin are already dressed up, so I just want to leave this one. So guys, these are the three mannequins that I have. This was my very first mannequin, this dark one, and I got it on Alibaba, but it was more expensive. With this one, you can pierce the skin, but with these other two, you cannot pierce the skin. The skin are made of different, um, I don't know what to call it, but they, they're just not the same. Okay, you can pierce this one and you cannot pierce this one. But to me, I don't see that as any reason why you should spend more on this one because they do the same job. As you can see, they are all beautiful. That's basically it for this video. I'm going to leave the seller's link in my description box below in case you guys are interested. By the way, this uh, wig is on my website already. You can go check it out if you're interested so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys